<laughs> Do you guys remember back in the days when I used to scream our oh, year in every single video, every intro of every video, every week? Man, I look back at those videos and I'm like, seriously, Paris, man, what's the matter with you? You sound ridiculous. What came over you to scream that every week? So for good old time's sake, I just had to do it one more time, <laughs> one last time. Anyways, hey guys, hi, I'm Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com and I'm back again with another video. That's my second video of the week. Considering that I quit YouTube two years ago, this is actually quite impressive that I can actually do two videos in one week. That's, that's huge for me. And uh, yeah, so I'm slowly trying to get into the momentum of things and trying to gain back that enthusiasm that I used to have, that energy. So I just keep saying to myself, one video at a time, one video at a time. And here I am, I'm back again with another video, not bad. And as uh, so yeah, most of you might recognize this image, this sketch that I created in my latest, my previous live stream that, that I did a few months ago. And um, I remember that I really liked this sketch so much. I liked the end result, and I also enjoyed so much, you know, the live stream. And at the end of the stream, I said that uh, one day I'm going to come back and I'm going to render this image out. Uh, I, I rarely stream and uh, whenever I get the opportunity to stream it's a big deal for me just to be able to hang out with you guys and have a good time so I, I, want, I wanted to color this image and just to keep it as a memory so I can remember that day and uh, yeah but then you know I forgot all about it I forgot totally all about this sketch and I have this folder on my PC and inside that folder I have a bunch of sketches I've got hundreds of sketches tons of them from, from uh, throughout the years that I've been creating and from time to time, I like to peek inside that folder and pick a few and just color them, just render them out. And the other day, I landed on this one. I just remembered the live stream. And I thought it would be really cool to color it and just to keep it as a memory. So I decided to render it out. But the rendering style in this piece, I kept it simple and sweet and flat colors. And the reason I chose to go that route is because um, the canvas size was really, really huge. It was something like, I don't know, I think it was around 12,000 pixels or something ridiculous like that by 4,000. It's massive. And when you have a, a humongous canvas like that, it all comes down to your machine, your computer, how strong and powerful it is. And I've got a really good, I've got a good PC, I've got a strong one. Uh, but still, there's, there are chances that it might lag. Your software might lag, uh, your, your, can, your, your PC might lag or your Mac. Uh, it all comes down to um, how strong your PC is. Uh, and you also you have to consider that when you're working on a massive canvas that your your brush sizes will be also huge as well because you need a big scaled up size brush so you can cover the whole canvas. And so imagine painting up, down, left, right, center, all those brush strokes everywhere. There's a huge chance it will lag and it can be very, very frustrating. So I decided just to go with the simple and sweet flat colors. And believe it or not, that is actually quite fun to, you know, and relaxing just painting like this nice flat colors versus my other style of drawing all those details and everything painting those details uh, it felt like like I was coloring in a coloring book so you know you've got those coloring books with all the outlines of the characters and you've got your crayons and you're just like trying to paint within the lines it felt like that it's so cool uh, it's nice to do that from time to time but I, I do fancy though coming back one day and uh, giving it another go maybe fully rendering it and there is a solution you can just reduce the size of the canvas by 50% and then just scale down the, the sketch um, so maybe one at some point in the near future but I really had a blast that day on the, on the live stream we got to hang out and I got to interact with you guys and answer questions and we spoke about so many topics and I also had the opportunity to get off my chest the reasons why I quit YouTube two years ago and that I went to do a comeback and here's my comeback here's <laughs> all right and uh, so one video at a time I keep saying it to myself and I also strictly remember saying that it, I don't know if it was in these words but I remember saying that I don't want to ever create another speed video, drawing video, or painting video ever again, you know. And here I am making another one, you know. I, I guess it's in my DNA. I just, I just love drawing and I just love painting so much. I don't mind creating these, recording the process into a speed video, you know. I just need to accept the fact that my speed videos are just not that popular. And uh, yeah, so we were discussing topics together as a community, which was really nice, and we came up with some ideas for future content. And one of them was art tips, and I made my first art tip the other day. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And I've made a massive list of tips that I really want to share with you guys. And these are tips that are based upon my experiences and what helped me grow. And some of them are going to be expressed vocally, and some of them are going to be demonstrated. My next video will be demonstrated, though, for sure. I already know 
um, beforehand what I'm going to create. I know which, which tip I'm going to share with you guys. And I'm definitely going to demonstrate it. Hopefully, I'll find a free time next week or the week after that to, to get down and uh, create it for you. And uh, what else? We also spoke about animation as a topic because uh, I've always wanted to do animation and I just never had the time. I never had the patience and the energy. You'd need all three of those to create animation. So I just need to organize myself to get back into everything and slowly, you know, uh, yeah, just basically organize myself to create animation, little animated shorts. And we also decided that the animations, the animation will be very limited. So it'll be like limited animation uh, so that I have more time to create more. But the main focal point will be the storytelling. So that's going to be a ton of fun as well. Yeah. Well, anyway, we shall see. One step at a time, one video at a time. I just need to get back into the momentum of things and... Just, like I said, just gain back that enthusiasm again and uh, get that motivation back. So anyways, we're coming up to the end of the video right now. You're going to see the final image any minute now. And I just want to say that if you want to see this final image, you can check it out on my Facebook page or on my Instagram account. The links are in the description below. Um, yeah, I had a blast creating this and I'm going to keep this image as a memory of you guys. And uh, yeah, give this video a nice thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help out the channel. It helps me out. It also motivates me to create more. And leave a lovely comment as well. And as soon as I can, I'll get back to you and answer every single one of your comments. And yeah, I'm Paris Christou from ToonBoxStudio.com. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye for now. Pow! Thank you for watching our latest video. Cherry invites you to subscribe to ToonBox Studio. Sexy, unique. Original and oh so sweet Where else can you find A pin-up girl to blow your mind Toonbox Studio Toonbox Studio oh, oh. Toonbox Studio Subscribe, like and share and have a good time